this was another one of my unplanned rides. Someone called the previous day and said we were to ride to Bisley Ghat. I was in. We started our ride from Bangalore around 5 am. Sumanth and I took a break very close to Hassan, and that's when I got to know that the plan was changed and that we were heading to Chikmagalur instead. I didn't care much because it was the adventure I was after, so the destination wasn't much of a concern. I knew we were going to ride some trails and was very excited about it. We reached Chikmagalur where a group of Suman's friends were already put up in a beautiful resort called Seridoban Eco Stay. We were greeted by Mathil, Vijay and Sunil and his parents. We got an hour's rest which we utilized to get acquainted with the people we just met. I was pleasantly surprised to know that Vijay is 71 years of age and still motorcycling strong. After our short rest, we headed to the meeting point where we met INRC champion Asad Khan. Asad is a very humble and down-to-earth person and has won championships in multiple events. He owns an estate in Chikmagalur where he conducts trainings under the name Train the Trails. I will leave the details in the description for those who want to learn trails from the master himself. Matthew decided to stay back as the trio had a long ride the next day and he just wanted to rest it out. The group for the day was Sumanth on his Enduro, Sunil on an Africa Twin, Vijay on a Himalayan and I had Vasuli. And of course, our leader, Asad on a Valley Spec Hero Expulse. We took off from the meeting point and rode through the scenic part of Chikmagalur and reached Asad's estate. The weather ensured that these trails became as challenging as they could. When I say challenging, there were no boulders to jump over, but the relentless drizzle of rain in the western guards meant we had to ride on a surface that was as slippery as the icing on a cake. To make matters worse, I was riding with stock MRF tires. Not that Medzilla would have been much better, but my suggestion to those who want to ride these trails would be to have a 50-50 block pattern tire at least at the rear for better traction, especially if you plan to visit in the warm soil. As the trail started, we were all riding slowly, avoiding all obstacles such as fallen areca trees and tree branches, fallen or hanging from the tree line above. Such slippery conditions are very difficult to negotiate with. In some cases, we had to ride over fallen branches of trees and small tree trunks. So long as my approach angle was perpendicular to the piece of wood, it was not very difficult to go over it, but encountering a log at an angle proved to be a challenge, considering the slippery conditions. That was when I was struck with the thought of how important it is to learn skills such as pulling a wheelie. Because when in these situations, if the front is handled properly, the rear will usually follow through without much hassle. The initial part of the trail was mostly on flat surface or a bit of downhill which wasn't very difficult to negotiate, but I had no clue what I would be in for if and when I would come across an uphill gradient. Soon, I got my answer. Because the surface was so slippery, once the momentum was lost going uphill, there was no way of getting my motorcycle moving again on its own power as the rear wheel just kept spinning, thanks to my road tires. And that led to the first fall of my new motorcycle. I somehow got the front wheel in one rut and the rear wheel in the other, lost traction and stopped on an inclined surface. The weight of the motorcycle was pulling onto one side and I couldn't straighten it back. After hanging on for what seemed like an eternity, I let go and saw Vasuli lying on his side. Eventually, I managed to get Vasuli back on his wheels. With some help from others and very carefully judged throttle inputs, I finally managed to get going again. Because of me, the others behind also lost their momentum. Vijay also felt that he would not be able to continue further on this section. So Vijay and Sunil turned around to take an alternate route to the next meeting point. Once we caught up with Vijay and Sunil, we learned that Vijay had a fall on the way which resulted in a bent handlebar and crash bar and that meant he couldn't ride any further. Sunil decided to stay back with Vijay. So from here on, it was only Asad, Suman and me.
We sat in the second leg of the trail and we had a small water crossing to negotiate through. The only challenge here was a deep ravine on one side of an already slippery surface. Asad gave a quick tip on how to negotiate this section. I went through without much struggle. Maybe it was one of those do or die scenarios that made it easy to negotiate this water crossing. Even having one leg grounded seemed scary. So the only way was to get it right in one attempt. I was glad we all made it through the section without any trouble. Once again, we came across an uphill gradient. I followed the same line as Asad, but managed to lose momentum when the front end of my motorcycle wavered in a different rut. Same story, different place. It took some time, but Vasuli and I got going again, thanks to some help from Sumanth. From here, it was relatively smooth sailing as the surface got a bit more manageable. We completed the second leg of the trail and stopped to take a break. This break helped Sumanth and me to get to know Asad better. It's awesome when like-minded people meet because we had endless talks about motorcycles and motorcycling. The estate is located in an extremely scenic location. However, the monsoon gods had spread a blanket of clouds over the valley. Eventually, the clouds momentarily opened up and let us witness a picturesque view of the valley. We rode down to the start point of the third leg. Just before we started the third leg, I saw this beautiful wine snake. The third leg was the most challenging one. It was a steep downhill with the slushiest ground. Nothing I did was able to slow Vasuli down and that resulted in my second fall. Even Suman crashed here. Suman with better skills, better machinery and better tires also had difficulty handling this section. You can imagine the challenge posed by the surface condition. The only thought that ran in my mind was how the hell was I going to ride back up this gradient? Well, I was relieved when Asad broke the good news that we were to return through a different route. The last downhill bit had to be negotiated with the engine turned off. 
Asa told us to just inch forward as there was a deep gorge on one side and any mistake could turn out to be very costly. He too rode down with his engine cut out. I was glad I did this lick of the trail because as soon as we finished the downhill section, we came across a serene waterfall. Imagine a waterfall in your estate which is all for yourself. I would have built a house in front of it and lived there to witness the waterfall every single day. I was tempted to go stand under the waterfall to get rid of all the mud that had accumulated on my riding gear, but Asad suggested against it. Post this, it was the home run, but we had a humongous task of going uphill on slushy surface to reach there. Asad gave us some pep talk of how to not lose momentum, yet we got stuck there. At this point, the GoPro battery died, so I couldn't capture the last bit of our return journey which was the most exhausting. First we had to drag Vasuli and then Suman Zeus uphill. It was as if we were dragging a buffalo that refused to come out of a water body. I rejoiced once we reached flat ground only to eventually find out that there was a really steep last uphill that we had to conquer. This is where I had the third fall which was the hardest of them all because unlike the previous falls, this time I rolled down the gradient a bit. After much trained attempt from me, eventually Asad had to take Vasuli up the hill. Thanks to him, we got out of the sticky situation and reached the base. After another break, we rode back to the resort. On the way, we stopped to get our bikes and gears washed to get rid of as much muck and leeches as possible. If you have made it this far, means you like the content. So go ahead and show some love by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel.